Scientists in China claim they've created a working prototype of the impossible, reactionless engine, and they say they're already testing it in orbit aboard the Tiangong-2 space laboratory. The radical, fuel-free AMDRIVE recently stirred up controversy after a paper published by a team of NASA researchers appeared to show they'd successfully built the technology. If the physics-defying concept is brought to reality, it's said the engine could get humans to Mars in just 10 weeks. But now, scientists with the China Academy of Space Technology claim NASA's results reconfirm what they'd already achieved, and have plans to implement it in satellites as quickly as possible. With no fuel to eject, the M-Drive would violate Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. At a press conference in Beijing, however, Researchers with CAS confirmed the government has been funding research into the technology since 2010, and claim they've developed a device that's already being tested in low Earth orbit, IB Times UK reports. It comes just a month after anonymous sources told IB Times UK that tests on the M drive were underway aboard Tiangong 2. National research institutions in recent years have carried out a series of long term, repeated tests on the M drive. Dr. Chen Yue, Head of the Communication Satellite Division at CAST said at the press conference, IB Times UK reports. NASA's published test results can be said to reconfirm the technology. We have successfully developed several specifications of multiple prototype principles. The establishment of an experimental verification platform to complete the milli-level microthrust measurement test, as well as several years of repeated experiments and investigations into corresponding interference factors, confirmed that in this type of thruster, thrust exists. CASC is a subsidiary of the Chinese Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC, and the manufacturer of Dongfang Hong satellites. According to Li Feng, chief designer of CASC's communication satellite division, the team has built a prototype that so far generates just a few millinewtons of thrust, in Times UK reports.